Hi there, my name's Yulin and I'm from Cozy Quilts by Yulin. I'm doing a really quick video today, a two minute video about how to sew a straight stitch, which I've had a couple of requests for. So we're gonna do that right now. I just remembered from my last video, which was supplies you need from quilting. As I, as I finished the video, I looked over at my ironing board and realized that that's the thing I forgot to mention. You need your iron and your ironing board out with you. So if you watch the video, what you need, supplies you need uh, for quilting, um, that was the missing item that I couldn't think of at the very end. So I'm gonna come over to my sewing machine and we're gonna do a straight stitch um, and I'll show you how I set up my machine and then I'll do the stitch for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my machine all off. <clears throat> and let's turn it back on. I always do that to just kind of reset everything. Um, I've got thread in right now, it's almost empty, and I've got a bobbin in. They're not matching because the last um, bit of work I was doing piecing, it didn't matter what color the threads were. But obviously the first thing you want to do is make sure your machine is turned on. Make sure you've got your presser foot down here, ready to go in a nice comfortable position, okay? You want to be sitting up straight in a good chair. And I recently learned a really good tip that if you put a pillow behind your back, in between the back of your chair and your back, um, it's really helpful when you're quilting big quilts and it really made a big difference on the last big quilt I did. So I've got some threads in, but the next thing I would do automatically in my mind is think about my threads. So I'd sit down and i think, well, what threads do I need? And I'd swap out this and I'd swap out my bobbin depending on what I need. I've got my stitch um, allowance, uh, sorry, my stitch length at a 2.5. That's just normal for piecing. I've got my speed on a high, but I'm going to turn it to a medium for you. My tension's at a four. That's a factory setting that I'm always happy with. I haven't adjusted it too much since I've got it. My sewing machine, luckily enough, has a, a needle up or down. So, right, so there we go. Needle up, needle down. And I've got a, a button for back stitching as well, so I'm quite lucky. It's quite a good machine. So, um, right, so, and I've got my table on, uh, my extension table, which I pretty much always use. Um, it's because I'm always quilting and piecing, so... If you've got one of those and it came with your machine, attach it uh, when you're doing your piecing. Okay, so straight stitch, we'll just jump right into it. This is just something I'm working on, so I'll just carry on working on this. Okay, so the first thing you need to remember is good fabric to good fabric. So that's my good, that's my good. My raindrops I actually want facing down. So I'm gonna turn my raindrop that way. So it's good to good. Okay, so um, make sure you've got your piecing attachment on. So I'm going to lift it up, right? I'm going to put it down. And if you can come in real close, can you come in real close? Okay, so see, these are our guides here, okay? These little notches right here, these markings are our guides. Now, if my fabric, the edge of my fabric, lines up with that one there, okay? That's my quarter inch seam allowance, okay? Which is what I'm always working towards. So I'm going to press it down right on my quarter inch seam allowance on, on, on the marking, okay? And then I'm going to slowly, because I've put it to a slow for you, I'm going to slowly, I'm um, okay, watch what, I, watch what I'm doing. My, my middle finger's here, okay? And my hand is just gently here. I'm not feeding it in. The feed dogs are going to feed it for you, okay? All you're doing is guiding. That's all you're doing, just guide it. So your f middle finger gently holding it and this hand uh, guiding it. Do nothing more than guide, guide the fabric. And all the time I'm watching, right, all the time I'm sewing, all the time I'm watching that the edge of these two fabrics is going right on that guide right there. And I'm going to keep sewing and sewing and sewing, straighten out a bit. See, the thing is, when you've got a big piece that you're working on, gravity will pull it, um, the weight of it is going to pull it this way onto your left. So you need to be kind of, you know, this is why you need to guide it all the while, right? So we're coming to the end. I'm not going to backstitch because I know what I'm doing here without backstitching. Okay, so we've come to the very end. I'm going to lift up my um, foot. I'm going to use my thread cutter in the back. I'm going to come around and there you've got it. Okay, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's uh, that's that's what it is. And when you open it up, you've got your good to good and make sure your patterns are going in the right direction. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.